Which you guys got another video here for you. This PC trick can save your PC data, and that's what we're going to take a look at in this video. As you can see here on the right click context menu, we don't have any way of scanning for files. And I want to show you how you can add virus total to your right click context menu, which is going to give you the ability to scan files when you receive them. So fill out the form. You will have to join the virus total community by just joining up there. Just put in your details inside here and then join the actual community. And what this is going to do is they'll send you an email and you can then go back and sign into Virus Total. And this will give you the API file that you need to add in. So let me just go up to the top right hand side here. Now we've signed in. And what we're going to do here is go to API key. So click on API key and this will take you to this window right here. And this is where you need to copy the API key. It's right here and it will copy to your clipboard. Now we've got our API key. We're going to need to be able to use our right click context menu with Virus Total. And this is where this creator has created a useful little tool, which is going to add this in and it's going to read our API file. So just go to the Virus Total context menu and you can click on the uh, latest and it will show you how to install it. Now there is some information here which will help you get set up here. So I'm going to click latest and download the zip file here and this will download it to my computer. All you need to do then is go to the location where you downloaded it. In my case, it's in the downloads folder and we're going to right click on this and we're going to extract it into this same folder. So extract all and then extract. And this is our folders right here. So inside this folder, we've got the virus total context menu and a readme file. Inside the readme file, it will tell you exactly what you need to do to get up and running. It's very simple. And once this is done, you will be able to right click on any file and it will automatically tell you whether that file has got any sort of virus in it. And if you get hit by ransomware, it's going to encrypt all the data on your PC and this can save you. So open up the uh, app settings.json file going to open this in notepad and you can see here API key and this is your API key right here you need to paste it inside there so I'm going to quickly paste it in there and there is our key I've blurred it out here because you want to keep this key private this is your own key and then just click save once you click on file save this file now is saved now we can right click on the virus total context menu you will see windows protected your pc just click run anyway it's an unknown publisher and you're going to get this uh, coming up because it hasn't been registered. So now we've got that, you should see a little prompt box popping up here saying shell execution was registered. That is now done. I'm going to put a virus on my desktop here. I'm going to right click on it and click on VT scan. This is virus total scan. This will upload the file and you can see straight away it's telling me this was a Trojan backdoor which could infect your PC. So this is how quick and easy is to quickly scan files. Maybe you've got a file inside an email or maybe you've got a file that someone has sent you and you want to check it. You can use this method to check that file before you click on it. And when you click on files, you know if it's a ransomware file or backdoor file or redline stealer or one of these nasty files, it can collect and harvest data or encrypt your data. And that is you done for. So make sure you check before you click on things. I'm going to delete that file and empty the recycle bin, as you can see here. And again, you should now be safe. This type of trick is very useful for people that just click on things without checking. So I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.